Hello everyone, today I'd like to talk about how to send money from one wallet to another. The first step is you have to run the cache 2 daemon. Here on Windows 10 when you run cache2.exe, you have to wait for the blockchain to synchronize. When it has finished synchronizing, you'll get this green message saying synchronized OK. You are now synchronized with the network, you may now start Simple Wallet. You can also connect to a remote node uh, instead of running the daemon from your computer. The next step is to open up Simple Wallet. I have one wallet open here. And we're going to transfer money from this wallet to the second wallet that I have open, which is right here. So if we go back to the first wallet, we can see the list of commands by typing in help, H-E-L-P. So here are all the commands on the left and a description of what they do on the right. It's a little busy right here. I'm sorry for all the text, but the one that we're really interested in is this one right here, transfer. So it says that uh, the command, the way to, to do it is to type the word transfer, space, put in a privacy level that ranges between zero to three, the address, the receiver's address, and the amount that you want to send. So I'm going to go to the second wallet now to get the address. So this is my second wallet. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go back and I'm going to type in, I'm going to follow this description right here. I'm going to type transfer. I'm going to set the privacy level at two. I'm going to paste the address and I'm going to type in the amount that I want to send. So I'm going to send five cash twos. So transfer the privacy level, the receiver's address, and the amount that I want to send. And I'm going to hit enter. So here it says money successfully sent, transaction, and then this is the transaction ID. So this transaction is ID, I'm sorry, this transaction ID is important when we're using BISC um, to exchange our cash twos. Uh, sometimes if there is a dispute on BISC, the arbitrators on BISC are going to ask you for something called the transaction key. So if we come back up here, we see that there is a command called get transaction key. And what this does is it gets the transaction secret key of a transaction. So the command is get TX key and then the transaction ID. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to copy this transaction ID, I'm going to copy it. I'm going to print, I'm going to type out the command get TX key space, and I'm going to paste the transaction ID. And I'm going to hit enter. So here it tells me that the transaction secret key is this. And this is the information that you'll have to provide to the BISC arbitrators if they ask you for it. But now let's go to this uh, second wallet to check our balance. So it says here, unconfirmed transaction with the same transaction ID, and it says received five cash twos. So if we go, if we type help again to see the list of commands, we see here that there is a command called balance and it shows the wallet balance. So I'm just gonna type balance to see how much money I have in this wallet. And here it says my available balance is five cash twos locked amount is zero. So at this moment, this wallet is able to spend all five of the cash twos that it has received. If anybody has any questions about sending money on the command line wallet or uh, checking your transaction secret key, please leave a comment down below. Thank you very much.